Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, yo. Let me get right to it. Brought that gas, I don't leak no fluid. Talk that jazz and I speak so fluent. Melt that beat, bitch, I might find do it. This is the difference. They'll be alright going fishing. Me, I'm like Peter, I'm piffin'. High as a seagull and eagle a griffin. Ain't nothing but legal. I'm chiefin' like Pat Mahomes. Now these niggas wanna tag along, or they mad at my own flow. Sick, call me Al Capone. I'm a wise guy. You a my tie. Got driving, I spit like a drive by. No winter circle, give me high fives. Got a catchphrase and it's bye bye to them low level. That's a no never. All my brothers on it, they don't know better. Like ooh, ooh, like, ooh. my life sweet. That's diabetes type two. Hallelujah, they done found a ruler in a deep sleep. Got me out the cooler now. I coach niggas like I'm Don Shula. You a post player, you are not a shooter. Pray you pipe down, cause right now I don't. Oh Lord, I snap like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my videos. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kit, and welcome to Hidden Gem Part Two in Diani. Sorry, there might be some background noise. There's some construction happening around. But welcome, welcome, welcome to the house. So first of all, please excuse my hair. I know it looks like an umbrella. Magic you know too, and some humidity, and now it looks like an umbrella. We are here at Melia Suites, and the first thing that you see is this beautiful pool with two day beds right here. The pool is quite small, yes, but it's quite deep. And we are literally, it's a beachfront property as well, so you can go to the beach in case you need a big pool. But how pretty is this? It's so big, so, so big, and there's a mirror, a big ass there. <laughs> literally, I can see my outfit quite clearly from this huge ass mirror and behind it there are some pool towels and there's a place where you can rinse yourself off from the beach when you want to enter the house or rinse yourself before you enter the pool so pretty and then we have this beautiful walkway that is full of trees and stone in the background stunning even the top there's some wood as in beautiful so after that you come straight away to the kitchen the kitchen is fully stocked we have an oven we have a place to cook we have the sink we have all cups we have a fridge they do provide water as well and the water is actually quite cold i love it it makes so much sense it's hot guys it's very hot right next to the kitchen is a sitting area and you're dining you can have breakfast here your lunch it's quite perfect you can read here you can relax i love this little area and then just beside it is a hammock where i will be spending most of my time me and that hammock we're about to be best friends let's enter inside the house now So now we are inside the house, apologies the lighting, it's quite dark inside here but this is your living room, your living area and the first thing that you see is some sort of a bookshelf, there's some cute decor here and some books for you to read, there's this amazing piece of art which has an elephant, you know we love elephants here. So right here we also have an amazing piece of art, I think it's a buffalo. This is by Ocean Soul Africa. This is basically made from party parties. If you're Kenyan, I know you understand that, but it's like rubber slippers where they recycle and make such beautiful pieces of art. I will link a documentary about that down the description because it's amazing what they do. When you This table, let me tell you, as in how beautiful this looks like it, it was a door that has been turned into 
a coffee table. I love it. And then we have this long ass mirror. <laughs> I can always get my OTDs here. Right here we have an office area. I love the desk because we're always working uh, when we're doing our trips. There are literally no days off. So having a place to the desk is amazing. There's Wi-Fi as well, which is amazing. The lamp is so cute, the lamp here. Right now we are in the bathroom. How big is this bathroom? How big is it? So big, so beautiful. I love it. It's so simple, open, it's clean, smells good. And then right here you have a place where you can put your clothes, your towels, anything that you might need to shower. And it's quite bright actually, I love it. We love bathrooms here guys, you know. Now we're heading upstairs to the last part of the house, which is the bedroom. So we are upstairs. This is the only thing that's upstairs, the bedroom. We have a big, beautiful wooden bed. We have an area to sit. You can look outside. And then we have a chair. This room also has the air conditioning because it can get quite hot. I appreciate the air conditioning. I really, really do. There's a guitar here as well. I don't know whether I should take it and start playing. Ding, 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 ding. Anyway, guys, we are finally here. We started off the day at Tribath. Tribath is actually a vegan restaurant. So for my all vegan peoples, there's a vegan restaurant here in Diani. And I had a smoothie bowl and Hillary had some pea and something samosa and they were all pretty pretty good so at least we know our vegans are being taken care of here in diani quite good yeah so we are here we're just gonna enjoy and relax it's absolutely stunning over here guys it's so pretty but i'm like should i extend from the beach area to where we are staying everything has been taken care of to the person who let us in the house help she has been amazing She's shown us around. I am just from the swim and we are going to eat. So this is my feet. I just realized I didn't even tell you guys the other feet. I was wearing uh, Hekaya. I was wearing Hekaya. I got it on sale. And this is again Sasha collection. She sent me two pieces of clothing. So yeah, I think it's quite cute. It's giving what it needs to give. Plastina. <laughs> it's a romper. It's actually a romper. My mom is Hello, ma'am. Shushkaro running to run. Running. Shushkaro run. Ma'am. Yesterday we had um, 
our food that salty is my mom called me and i got distracted i didn't even finish so right now it's about 8 a.m we want to go to the beach let's go to the beach each this is i'm wearing my swimsuits all the swimsuits i've worn throughout this diani vlogs are from everything summer i don't know how much if that's the name but i'm going to link it down in the description guys yeah so we need to go get some content as well but i think it looks cute although this is big i'm usually so tiny at the top so i'm always struggling even with swimwear yeah but i think it's cute yeah, then you're like, oh those are my shoes i was <laughs> I got scared yeah so i don't know what to do with my hair as well because are you look at this guys what is this what what is this I will figure it out. So let's go to the beach. The beach is quite pretty. Like, I'm obsessed. I woke up in a haze this morning. Baby, I don't know what I did last night. My phone still got a drink all over. Guess I gotta get it back together right now. I don't know where my shoes are. The way that I bear for it back home. I don't know where my friends are. Guess I gotta. outfit change <laughs> we spent the day um at the day most of the morning just relaxing um enjoying the beach and actually guys this is not the house that we initially wanted the one we initially wanted uh was booked and then the other one we could not afford so this is our last option i really wanted to come here and see because they have three properties actually let's queue in the tour for the other two properties the first one is azari if we could run it if we could run it back into your wonder if we could run it back if we could run it if we could run it back into your wonder if we could run it Azari is quite expensive guys like it's about 50k per night if I'm not wrong but I will link it down in the description and then now to the house that we actually wanted it's called the beach cottage and this one is a, it's so cute now you have three options to choose from guys you can choose between this melia sweet is it sweet or sweet i'm not sure and then this azari if you're looking for that completely luxurious vibe and then now this the beach cottage which i highly recommend out of the whole group so i'm so happy i was able to show you guys the three properties i'm so happy the owners let us do that as well so yeah right now we are going to have some sort of brunch or maybe lunch we are going to go to a restaurant called Coco's. I need some coffee in my system. Yeah, so <laughs> this is what we are going with. I'm supposed to try it at the back. I got this from Mr. Price.
we have just eaten um it was quite affordable actually i think it's the most affordable place we've been to um and i also realized it's a japanese and a korean restaurant the japanese restaurant is in the same building um we are still yet to pinpoint where the korean one is trust me to find a korean restaurant in the attic <laughs> Anyway, so there's a place uh, I saw yesterday that has like mats and uh, what are they called? Baskets that I think they're made by a local. I hope they're made by a local. I uh, want to see if we can get something for the house. Breakfast at Funky Monkey Dan. The coffee was actually quite good. He let it mug <laughs> I'm sorry, he let it. But it was quite good. I think that's the best coffee I've had here so far. I like how I'm saying that Nika have taken coffee from everywhere. But so far I really liked it. The K, the Korean restaurant is literally next to it, but it was not open, unfortunately. We also passed by um, the wine box, these browns and the wine box here, but they have clothes for, for reservation, <laughs> for renovations. There are actually so many uh, restaurants wanted to visit, but have been closed down for renovations. And I think it's because it's uh, low season. Yeah. But we'll be back. Next time, actually, I think we'll be very local as well, because I've seen there are so many vibandas and I'm sure the food is so good. So yeah i feel like we need to come back have some hungry some basky you know hey guys it is our last day actually we are checking out we'll be calling them checking out dates because it's not really our last day like a couple of hours before we leave so we have really enjoyed ourselves i hope you guys have enjoyed the two the annie hidden gems that i put out i i'm so happy i don't know if i now prefer the annie over chris you know, Matilda girl, but now I think I prefer the and it's much more relaxed. I really enjoyed it and it's so green to end up at its green. So yeah, I'm showed you guys two properties. Yeah, here at Melia, there's Azari and there's the beach cottage. I highly recommend the beach cottage because that's initially what we wanted, but some did books before us, but I still had to finish this video. I will link all the ways to book. You can book through a number, you can go to their website, you can book through Airbnb. I will give you guys all those options like you do also the places that we visited they do have uh google maps or instagram sites you can go out and check yesterday we went to tiki bar it was nice nice guys for a salsa dancing um that bowl that i had the a frozen margaritas guys i'm still paying for it until now don't be like you take the small one that bowl was a medium and it's still in my stomach but the food was actually really really good we just been literally eating eating we spent so much fun <laughs> but it was all for the content so yeah i hope you wanted to see you guys make sure to leave a comment make sure to leave a like and if you reached until the end of this video let us know a yellow okay a yellow so i'll catch you guys in the next video